Imagine a world without books. This is the world of Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. Published in 1953, this dystopian masterpiece paints a chilling picture of a future consumed by ignorance and instant gratification. Books are outlawed. Critical thinking is suppressed. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time to read? We've got you covered. So, grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today we dive into Fahrenheit 451. We're introduced to a future society where books are banned and firemen burn any that are found. People are glued to their screens, their minds numbed by shallow entertainment. Real human connection is rare. The firemen, once symbols of safety, have become instruments of censorship. They hunt down and incinerate any books they find. The temperature at which paper burns, 451 degrees Fahrenheit. At the heart of this dystopian world is Guy Montag, a fireman who begins to question the society he lives in. Montag, at first, takes pride in his work. He enjoys the spectacle of flames consuming books, but deep down, a flicker of doubt begins to stir within him. One fateful night, Montag meets Clarice McClellan, a young woman who challenges his perceptions. Clarice is curious, observant, and unafraid to question the status quo. She introduces Montag to the simple joys of nature and the power of human connection. Clarice's words plant a seed of doubt in Montag's mind. He begins to crave something more, something beyond the superficiality of his existence. Montag's transformation is a journey of self-discovery that is both painful and liberating. Clarice McClellan, though appearing briefly in the novel, plays a pivotal role in Montag's awakening. She is a symbol of innocence, curiosity, and the power of independent thought. Her very presence is a challenge to the oppressive regime that governs their society. Clarice is a stark contrast to the other individuals in Montag's world. While they are consumed by their superficial lives, Clarice is attuned to the natural world. She enjoys the simple things in life, the rain, the scent of leaves, the sound of her own voice. Her inquisitive nature is a breath of fresh air in a society that stifles curiosity. She asks questions that no one else dares to ask. She makes Montag see the world through new eyes. Clarice's influence on Montag is profound. Her unwavering belief in the power of knowledge ignites a spark within him. Bradbury masterfully utilizes symbolism throughout the novel, and one of the most striking examples is the mechanical hound. This robotic hound tracks down and eliminates dissidents, representing the oppressive power of technology and surveillance. It is a chilling reminder that in a world without privacy, true freedom is impossible. The hound is a symbol of fear and control. Its presence alone strikes terror into the hearts of the citizens. It represents the government's iron grip on its people. The hound's presence serves as a warning about the dangers of unchecked technological advancement. It shows how technology in the wrong hands can be used to control and oppress. In the face of this oppressive regime, a glimmer of hope emerges in the form of the book people. This group of intellectuals and free thinkers has dedicated their lives to preserving knowledge. They live on the fringes of society, memorizing books word for word to keep their contents alive for future generations. These individuals understand the power of the written word. They know that books have the ability to inspire, to challenge, and to change the world. They are willing to risk everything to ensure that knowledge is not lost forever. They represent the enduring power of the human spirit and its capacity for resilience. The book people's commitment to preserving knowledge is both inspiring and humbling. They offer Montag a path to redemption and a chance to contribute to something larger than himself. They are the guardians of our collective memory, ensuring that the past is not forgotten. Montag's journey is one of transformation and redemption. He starts as a cog in the machine of ignorance, but through his encounters with Clarice and the book people, he begins to awaken to the truth. He realizes the emptiness of his life and the horrors of the society he serves. As Montag delves deeper into the world of books, he undergoes a profound change. He begins to question everything he thought he knew. He feels a sense of responsibility to fight back against the oppressive forces that have imprisoned his society. His transformation is not without its challenges. He faces opposition from those in power, including his own fire captain, Beatty. Montag's journey is a reminder that the path to enlightenment is rarely easy, but it is a journey worth taking. 
He becomes a symbol of hope, a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. Fahrenheit 451 is not merely a work of fiction, it is a mirror reflecting our own society's tendencies. The novel's depiction of a world obsessed with instant gratification and superficiality resonates deeply with our current era of social media and reality television. It forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about our own relationship with technology and the choices we make regarding knowledge and entertainment. We live in a world where we are constantly bombarded with information. It's easy to get caught up in the cycle of endless scrolling and mindless consumption. The novel serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that a life devoid of critical thinking and intellectual exploration is a life half-lived. Bradbury's work is a call to action, urging us to reclaim our attention spans and engage in meaningful dialogue. It reminds us that the future is shaped by the choices we make today. One of the most crucial themes that Fahrenheit 451 explores is the importance of critical thinking. In the novel, the citizens have surrendered their ability to think for themselves. This lack of critical thinking makes them vulnerable to manipulation and control. They become willing participants in their own oppression. The absence of critical thinking in the novel is presented as a dangerous symptom of a society in decline. Fahrenheit 451 serves as a potent reminder that critical thinking is essential for navigating the complexities of the world and preserving our freedom. It is through critical thinking that we can challenge injustice and create a more just society. Bradbury urges us to cultivate this essential skill in ourselves and future generations. Fahrenheit 451 is a timeless warning about the dangers of censorship, the importance of intellectual freedom, and the power of the human spirit to resist oppression. The novel's exploration of censorship transcends the specific act of book burning. It serves as a metaphor for any attempt to stifle dissenting voices or control the narrative. Whether it's government censorship, corporate control over media, or the silencing of dissenting opinions on social media, the underlying message remains the same. The suppression of knowledge is detrimental to society. Fahrenheit 451 is a call to action, urging us to protect intellectual freedom and celebrate diversity of thought. It is a reminder that the future is shaped by the choices we make today. By choosing to embrace knowledge and challenge censorship, we can create a future where the flames of knowledge burn bright. It illuminates the path towards a more just and enlightened world. Before we go, we ask for your help please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you encourage us to create more summaries. Comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.